And you're saying people are ridiculed, making fun of you, you're going to be a spectacle. I, I don't want to be any part of that. I'm, so, I'm, not, I'm sorry. But that's not even what you're saying. You're not saying that babies got switched at birth at the hospital. That is what I'm saying because... No, you're saying that he has two daughters named Haley, this is one and you're the other. That's like a tired record. You, you only have about six things you say. Huh. And, you know, after you say them, it's just... Hey guys, welcome back to Inform Overload. Today we'll be doing a top 10 on the spoiled brats that have been destroyed by Dr. Phil. Now, of course, we all know Bad Baby, Danielle Brigoli, the Cash Me Outside girl. Yeah, you know her, whatever you want to call her. But there have been tons of similar types of problematic kids or young adults over the years. So let's count down the top 10. Before we do though, make sure to subscribe, click that bell icon to be notified of our other videos, and drop us some comments down below with other lists you want on the channel. Also, follow the IO team on the gram, shoot me a DM if you guys want to say hi, or you guys got a story that you think should be on here. We'll shout you out if we use the story. So you guys want to do that. Get some clout. You feel me? We also got comment replies and bloopers at the end of this one, but let's just start off our list with number 10. Number 10, we got Bailey. Now, Bailey claimed to have fallen in love with a woman she met online. She went as far as saying that this woman named Jasmine spoke to her by moving things in her apartment with telekinesis. But here's where things get strange. I mean, they're already strange, but... Jasmine actually reached out to Bailey's mother and eventually Dr. Phil because Bailey was harassing her. She would send her unsolicited pictures as well as messages and videos on social media. She went as far as driving to this woman's house. This girl Bailey kept changing her emotional state on the fly and went as far as calling out the audience who sees her as a skeptical. This led Dr. Phil to literally saying, I think we're just going to shut this down. We're not going into all this melodrama and you playing the victim. And then he had her escorted off of the stage. Number nine, we got Eric, AKA King Keith Franklin the seventh. Eric is an aspiring singer and changed his name to King Keith because he thinks it'll help him reach the level of stardom he's pursuing. While King Keith was on Dr. Phil, he made it clear he doesn't need to pursue an education because he's set on being famous. He even went as far as saying he's on the journey of fame and that's why he's on Dr. Phil, to which Dr. Phil replies, you're here because your mother is saying, look, this kid is on self-destruct. He doesn't get it. He then proceeds to call out King Keith, the international star, for living with his mother. I mean, he's got a point. If he's that big of a star, why is he still living with his mom? Number eight, the Beverly Hills princess. 17-year-old Tamara came on the show, claiming she spent 7,000 bucks a month to maintain her perfect looks. She claims she's addicted to it. Between lip injections and cheek fillers and having her glam squad, as she calls it, Tamara's goal is to always look perfect. Apparently, it takes her two hours to get ready for the gym or grocery store. And when speaking with Dr. Phil, he brings up the organization feed in America, where a dollar provides those in need with 10 meals. Dr. Phil then tells Tamara she could be providing 840,000 meals per year to those in need with the amount of money she spends on her appearance. Her response, that's true, but I'm not the only person who has a glam squad. Tamara's actually called out by another girl on this list, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. Number seven, we got Ronald. This 17 year old says he refuses to work, although his only source of income is his $1,000 a month allowance from his mother, who works 120 hour weeks to afford his lavish lifestyle. Ronald came on Dr. Phil to demand that his mother increases his allowance because he wants to shop more and will only buy designer clothing. His aspirations career-wise are to be a famous YouTuber and as you can imagine, our boy Phil put him in his place. Not only did he call him out for not having any videos on his YouTube channel, but the doc really got ticked off when Ronald said, this is my show now. Dr. Phil's response, let's explore that. Whose names do you see on the walls? And let me ask you another question, how much are you getting paid for your show? He goes on to say he's written a book that sold millions of copies while Ronald just sat there quietly. That's right doc, you showed him. Number six, we have Haley. Haley believes not only was she pregnant with Jesus, but she also claimed that Eminem was her father. I know M has a daughter named Haley, but I don't think this is it. Everyone told her she wasn't pregnant, including family members, friends, and even a doctor who did an ultrasound. Guess what? Nothing showed up. This girl clearly isn't pregnant, but she was still sold that she was. Dr. Phil wasn't here for this BS, so he told Haley straight up what's good. He asked if Haley thinks Eminem would have two daughters named Haley. At first she says no, then she says she doesn't know, and he pretty much continues to call her out on the air and in front of the studio audience, tangling her in a web of lies. I won't lie, it was, it was pretty uncomfortable to watch how uncomfortable she was getting, and he was just like toying with her. Kind of funny, actually. In at number five, Treasure Richards. Treasure is a black girl who is just delusional and extremely racist toward her own race. Aside from the ignorant, rude comments she makes toward the African American community, Treasure claims that she's in fact white and has always been white. She says she has white tendencies and can't relate to any black person. Treasure goes as far as claiming a life coach and therapist named Spirit that Dr. Phil brings on the show doesn't know what she's talking about when she says that Treasure doesn't hate black people, she just hates herself. In response, Treasure calls Spirit a hood rat and says she won't take her seat 
seriously or pay her any mind. This prompts Dr. Phil to say, do you think that is becoming to you to refer to this fine, well-educated woman that flew halfway across the country to reach out to you to refer to her as a hood rat? Do you think that's becoming to you? Do you think that's flattering to you? He goes on to say that she's like a tired record with only six things to say, and after so many times, it's just noise. In at number four, we got Danielle Brigoli. I know, I thought she'd be number one too, but guess not. Now, as we all know, she became pretty famous for her cash me outside, how about that catchphrase, if you'd call it that. She now has a rap career as Bad Baby, but before all that happened, Brigoli was just a problematic teen who appeared on Phil's show like the rest. At the time of her appearance, Danielle was a 13 year old who would steal her mother's car, get into fights in school, and tried to frame her own mother for a crime. Although her catchphrase stole the show, Dr. Phil really put her in her place by calling her out saying she's always in defense and tough mode so no one can ever hurt her. On her second appearance, Dr. Phil brought Danielle and her mother into the studio without an audience. They were shocked and couldn't play to anyone, and that was really his game plan. This time around, Brigoli told Dr. Phil he was nothing before she came on the show, to which he he responded completely sarcastically, thank you for that. At number three, we got Madison. She was a 15 year old who claims she smokes dope, takes LSD, and joy rides in her mother's car. Although she says she's just having fun and is misunderstood by her parents, shit got real when she got on Dr. Phil's show. Although she left the set for a brief period of time, she eventually came back out. And when Dr. Phil asked her why she came back out, Madison said it's because she was told her sister would come out with her. Dr. Phil called her out on the spot, saying that's not true. Then Madison retracts and says, You're gonna talk to me for a bit, and then she'll come out here. To which Dr. Phil quickly snapped back, No, she's not coming out here and I'm not going to talk to her so if you came out here with that expectation and want to leave that's okay because that's not what they told you. Madison quickly shuts down and just says, okay, I'll stay here. He goes on to say Madison is out of control, has no respect for boundaries, no respect for her parents, and feels like she could do what she wants when she wants to do it. Number two, Rivers. The 15 year old wouldn't go to school, calls his parents names, attacks them physically, and controls them through intimidation. With that being said, Dr. Phil says he sees no indication of mental illness when it comes to Rivers, and refers to him as a spoiled brat kid who gets rewarded for bad behavior. He said there's the possibility that he has mental illness on top of that, but his mother says he's been evaluated at three different hospitals which all deny he has any sort of mental illness. Dr. Phil also calls out Rivers' parents for enabling this kind of behavior, and when he gets Rivers on the show, Rivers explains he's an aspiring musician. Dr. Phil then presses him again, asking, do you have an agent, manager, demo reel? All to which Rivers says no. Dr. Phil then calls him out saying, you don't go to school and you're not pursuing a music career, you're just playing music for yourself because it's a passion. Okay. Number one, Nicolette Gray, also known as the Beverly Hills Brat. Not only was she upset that her allowance was reduced from $5,000 a month to $1,000 a month, but she also told Dr. Phil, we're talking about me here, this is my show. Believe it or not, Nicolette was actually the one that wrote into Dr. Phil because of the change in her allowance. She claims her mother doesn't drive her anywhere, buy her any food, or make the food for her, so she needs money for all of that. Dr. Phil asks Nicolette if she uses the money to make food for herself, to which she says she mostly eats out because she doesn't like to cook, it makes a mess, and she doesn't like doing dishes. Dr. Phil then says she has to get a regular job, and when asked her mother if she'll be unhappy, Nicolette interjects, yes, and Dr. Phil mocks her by saying yes as well. She then says she needs a job, to which Nicolette crying says, I don't want a job, that's so much work. Dr. Phil literally just sits there laughing in her face. I mean, can you imagine? And then Nicolette called out Tamara saying she's just trying to copy her, calling herself the Beverly Hills whatever she is. It's pretty much the same story, just looking for fame. And they both have YouTube channels, so look at that. I think everyone's trying to copy the Catch Me Outside girl. And there you guys have it for the top 10 spoiled brats destroyed by Dr. Phil. I want to know who you guys think is the true number one on this list. Obviously, everyone on here is problematic, but I mean, complaining about getting a job and that your allowance has dropped from $5,000 to $1,000, I wish I had these problems. <laughs> Anyways, guys, before we wrap this one up, let's reply to some comments and stick around afterwards for some funny bloopers. The train came back, so you know there's gonna be some good bloopers here. So in the video, top 10 YouTube prank channels exposed for being fake, Arabian Lebanon Princess said, you look so much better without a beard, you look like a totally different person. That's all personal preference. Some people like beards, some people don't. Me and Char were talking about it, how like girls, like some girls say like it's unfair that like girls have to put on makeup and stuff to look better, which I don't think is true, but anyways. And I was like, yeah, but guys, you know, I saw somewhere like that guys have beards and it covers half their face. <laughs> and I was like, it's true, man. Like, I don't know. Some people like, like me without a beard, some people like me without a beard, but it literally like covers half my face. Like it's from this point down, my face is covered. 7982 said, luxury pranks are probably gonna be pissed, lol, they can't accept being exposed. I'm not really willing to expose them, I just report on the fact that someone else exposed them, so like, let them be mad. I didn't really do anything wrong. Sorry, bud. Legendary said, I wanna see top 10 list about you, Jared. Be pretty boring, like I'm, I don't know, I'm a fun guy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that does it for this top 10 list. You gotta let us know in the comments down below on our top 10 you wanna see on our channel. Make sure to subscribe, click that bell, give this video a thumbs up, and drop me some comments down below. I've been your host, Jared Bronson, and we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Didn't do my warm ups before the video. The tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips, the tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips, the tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. Let's get this. Let's go. You feel me? <laughs> Why am I like this?
What else is new? Filming a video and the train just so happens to come by. I've never even seen anybody on that fucking train. Nobody takes this train anywhere. Where does this train even fucking lead to? No one uses it, yet it's always fucking passing by. There's no one in the fucking train. Like, take a fucking Uber. It's probably cheaper. Take the fucking bike or something. Should I do it in his voice? I think we're just going to shut this down. We're not playing into all this melodrama and you playing the victim. Star, why is he still living with his mom? I don't live with my mom. I live with my dad. It's not my mom. And after so many times, it's just noise. I was actually, when I was watching that, I was like, this girl's like, it's ridiculous, man. Fucking stain on my shirt here. Firing, he's an aspiring music. What the is going on here? You hear this banging? Jeez. It's like, if you want to be successful nowadays, just be a piece of and go on Dr. Phil.